Machines are all around us. Our jobs get easier with the help of machines. Washing machine, mixer, grinder, clock are some of the many machines we use every day. For some machines, mechanisms inside are visible, while for others, it is not possible. What is common between all these machines? All machines are driven by a wheel, powered by a hand or by a motor. Reciprocating, oscillatory, linear and rotary motions are achieved from just one motion, rotational motion. Most machines usually have three distinct areas. Mechanical systems consisting of gears, pulleys, cams, levers, etc. Electrical systems with series circuits, bulbs, buzzers and switches. And finally, logical systems which use programs to compute, monitor and decide logic of the machine. We will focus on the mechanical system and to some extent on the logical part as well. Just like machines, most of the toys are also driven by wheels. These are either powered by a spring or by sail, like this toy car. An automata toy is any toy which follows a predetermined sequence of operations. We will start with just one operation for now. Automata toys with 4-5 operations are very common though. Let us understand the basic mechanisms behind all these wonderful actions. Let us take this toy car. I can pull it back slightly and release it. It moves forward. We can build a similar one with this frame and wheels made from PVC sheet. With a little push, our makeshift car moves ahead nicely. Let us remove the rear wheels and replace them with another set of wheels. Are these wheels the same? How will the car move this time? Rear portion of the car moves up and down. How about replacing these wheels with shapes like triangle and square? Will the car move at all? Think about it. Let us remove all the wheels and pencil and we will keep the frame upright. I will insert a pencil here. and a small handle here. What will happen if I move the handle? Wheel rotates around an axle or shaft. Wheel by itself is not of much use. We'll place another wheel like this with this yellow pencil as a shaft. Rotating the base wheel also moves the top wheel. This is because of the friction between these two wheels here. 
Let us mark the base wheel with black color and the upper wheel with a red color. This will help us in some calculation. These parts have a proper term though. This wheel is called cam. Pink pencil is axle or shaft. And this shaft is rotated by the handle. Wheel with yellow pencil is called follower. Changing the direction of rotation of the cam also changes the direction of rotation for the follower. How about the position of the cam on the axle? Will it affect the moment of follower wheel? Taking the cam nearer to the center results in more turns of the follower for one turn of the cam around itself. How about shifting the cam to the right side of the center point? Now, the direction of rotation for the follower is reversed. Will the follower rotate if I keep the cam like this? No, it won't rotate as it is exactly in the center. We will attach this smiley on the top of the yellow pencil. That way, we can observe the movement of the follower. Let us replace this cam with another one. Is it the same as the previous one? No, its shaft is not in the center. This cam is called as eccentric cam. Now can you predict the moment of the follower? Follower moves up and down. It also rotates as it moves up and down. Now that you know about the cam, follower and basic movements, let us use everyday material like this notebook, corrugated sheets and pencil to build a frame instead of a PVC sheet. We will use paper knife to cut long strips from the notebook. Be careful while handling paper knife and scissor as well. With the help of round cap of this bottle, we will make a ring from these strips. Give some cuts in the center just enough for the pencil to fit in. Wheel will not move if the pencil is loosely fit in the hole. Joining the two circles cut from the hard cover of the notebook with glue, our wheel is ready. Paper strip roll allows us to create cams of various shapes.
outer frame can be built with the help of corrugated sheets. You can use alternate material as well or even try the ready-made box available with you. You can glue all the pieces together and our frame is ready. These two sheets ensure that follower does not wobble sideways and only moves up or down or rotate with the movement of the cam. Try with different dimensions as well as shapes of the cam. With our basic setup ready, it's time to build visuals. I printed this cat and pasted it on a thick card sheet. Up and down movement of the eyes can be achieved if we connect this piece to the follower. You can also search on YouTube for projects based on this simple automata. We'll explore design guidelines, variations of the cam, as well as best practices while building automata in the next video. Do try this at home. Thank you.